So we're here and we're walking up on a pretty complicated pool. And when I say complicated, it's because we have these slot drains. So it's a 360 degree slot drain, negative edge, if you want to call it. And we find these things leaking all the time. So we're showing you a little bit of a close up of the slots. As you can see, we're setting up all our gear. Again, as complicated as the pool is, we're still gonna put our equipment in the pool. Now we're gonna walk up. We're always gonna do a visual on every pool that we do. So we're gonna look at the equipment here. We noted a little drip by the filters. You could see that wet spot on the floor. However, again, it's important that we do a visual inspection as well as listening. So when we're listening here, again, as we do in every pool, we're going to listen to protrusions, we're going to listen to return lines, we're going to listen to fittings. Well, this pool has a surge tank, so we're able to actually drop our mics in the tank. And in this pool, we did have a leak on the very bottom of that tank. Our pipe mic is small, so we're able to actually get that in the slot drains and we're actually able to listen to all the protrusions coming into the drains on the bottom. And in this pool, we heard a whole bunch of leaking. Now we also noted that we have some structural cracks on the top of the beam. This is a brand new pool. This stuff should not be here. None of this should be here. We also found this drill hole in the top of the beam and we're looking around and seeing what was in there. We actually had a piece of material that fell into that piece. I'm showing it here so you could actually see it. But when we raised the level of the pool and water was running over that beam, we had water penetrating it. We did that with dye so we were able to see. So when we heard what we did with the slot drains, we were able to actually get a light in there. We heard leaks at multiple locations. So the next thing we're going to do is take you to the report so you could see actually how we wrote it up. So we check spa suctions, jets. We also like to always put into these what we did check and what isn't leaking. We ran around, we went over the lighting, we went over that we heard a leak down in the bottom of the surge tank and that most of our leaking was actually coming from the slot drains. In order to properly check those slot drains, there's a lot of tearing up to do. Read the report, go over it, and uh, you'll understand how we wrote it and why we wrote it up this way.